Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode three for my building feed uh, building series. So I did get an order in. This one is actually from Bricks and Bits. Um, this should have come uh, a week ago, actually, um, but there was a problem with the shipping, so um, it did take an extra like five days to get to me. Um, but it is here now in my possession. So I'm just gonna go ahead, cut this thing open. Basically what we did get here is, let me try and focus it on this dude. This is the Nabu uh, security guard. I got two of him um, and I'll probably like switch out the head on one of them or something like that. Um, but these are obviously for uh, Nabu and then they, the store did have these guys as well. Um, the battle damaged battlefront uh, stormtroopers, jet troopers, jump troopers, whatever. Um, so I picked those up too. But um, yeah, definitely needed these guys. Hopefully, I'll be, you know, getting some of the blue ones. Um, these are actually the security guards. The royal guards are the um, kind of sand blue ones. That is like Captain Panaka, those type of guys. All right, so the next package I did actually get in. This is the final uh, package uh, for the moment. But this is from Stuckman LLC on Bricklink. So it is a very small order. Uh, there's Buzz Lightyear on this bag. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's a very small order. Just had a bunch of just little parts that weren't in any of the other stores. Um, right here in this Basically what I needed were these pieces, the curved little bit right there, and then these pieces that have kind of the um, hole in the bottom. And then obviously this thing right here, and then just a couple other parts and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put these all in the AAT, and then I will show you the AAT in it's completed uh, glory, I guess. So let's get right to that. All right, guys, I have completed the build for Lewis Kiwi's AAT. Um, this is obviously the version that was seen in episode one before um, the Trade Federation kind of fully uh, joined the separatists and changed their color scheme to the gray and blue. Um, if you are interested in that uh, color scheme though, uh, Brick Vault and Lewis Kiwi do sell the instructions for that color scheme. But yeah, so just jumping right into this actual build right here, it just looks really, really, really nice. Um, it's very clean, um, all the kind of curves and angles meet together really nicely. Um, it's a very nice integration of this big printed uh, kind of domed round slope piece from the original AAT <clears throat> Excuse me, and it all in all just looked really nice um, In his actual model this stripe right here is brown um, Lewis Kiwi when he builds he tries to use um, Like the old the old style colors So obviously, you know dark tan was not a color when they made the kind of old sets so he um, used his brown, which looks good in his own kind of way, but um, the dark tan is definitely more accurate and I think looks better. Let me just move this business card out of the way. Um, yeah, and it just looks really nice from all angles. You know, I kind of have the brown stripe going through all the way to the back. It looks really nice. Um, and then I'm going to slide it forward to just kind of be in the little focus area. Um, the back, you know, hatch is functional pops down right there and there is a little bit of an interior that I'll kind of try and show you a little bit later um, and it's just got you know a couple bars on the back cockpit area you can kind of see the um, this little rounded area how that is made with those expensive kind of slopes and stuff like that it looks really nice and then just coming around to the side again um, it is a little bit back heavy. Um, I think you could probably try and figure out a way to put more weight in the front. Um, but, you know, it doesn't fall on its back unless you kind of 
pull it. So I do think it is fine for me right now. I don't think I'm going to worry about that. Um, but yeah, it just really looks really nice from kind of every angle. Um, it's got a nice technique here with the curved um, kind of bit right here with the, you know, cheese slopes and stuff. And uh, yeah, so I guess the first thing I kind of want to show is the underside. Um, this is one of the really, really, really cool uh, functions or features in this model here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick it up and kind of show you the underside right here. Now this is going to be a little bit hard to show, um, but you can kind of hopefully get a look there. Um, this is actually based off of the uh, cross sections book, one of the Star Wars cross section book. And um, I did my own little modifications to make it kind of meet up more nicely. I'm gonna actually rotate it this way and kind of focus on the details. So I did add in this little uh, one by three slope here and the tile on top of it. Um, and then that is, matches up really nice. And then I added in this little neck bracket right here with the cheese slope. And yeah, so everything look, matches up really nice. It looks really cool. Um, I do like these kind of uh, grill bricks. The lines are very accurate to the, kind of the, some of the smaller shells. And I also went ahead and swapped these to dark gray. Um, in the original model, this whole kind of curved section is tan. But I feel like having the dark gray kind of just molds this kind of transition a little bit better. Um, and plus these hinges are very, very expensive and rare um, to get in just normal tan. So yeah, everything looks really nice though. Um, there weren't really any pieces that I kind of had to switch out. Certain ones were very hard to get or just were like, you know, maybe $4 extra just for shipping to get that specific piece. So I swept it to like a light gray or uh, old gray kind of to go with the rest of the color scheme and stuff like that. But yeah, so really, really, really cool model right here. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess I can try and show the interior. This is going to be a little bit hard, so do bear with me. All right, so I kind of just repositioned it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of like tilt it up kind of like this and then fold down the ramp. So in here, this thing is a little bit, there we go. Um, in here, you can kind of get a look at the interior. Um, it is a little bit hard to get in there and kind of show all of the details in the light. Um, but I'm going to try my best. So in the far back, I'm going to try and... There we go. So in the far back, you can kind of see there is a control panel and a little bit of, you know... Uh, you know, just kind of clear, kind of representing, I guess, like a viewport or something like that. Obviously, you can't actually look through the shuttle or the ship because it is, you know, plastic and that would not work. But um, got a control panel in there. There's also just kind of some bricks and stuff on either side, just adding a little bit more detail. And then at the top, there are some bars. Those are also kind of hard to see, but they're on the top of the screen. And then some wheels, I guess. Um, my guess for those is they are probably supposed to represent the, um, you know, mechanism that would fold the ramp up and down. And then just coming back here, you can kind of get a look at some of the detail on these, um, I don't even know, like engines or engine bits or whatever. Um, so that's about that. It looks pretty nice really like how this looks. I actually went and made some of these bits uh, dark, old dark gray instead of dark bluish gray. Um, you can also see here kind of did the same thing on these guns and then kept a little bit of old bluish, uh, new bluish gray. And then I just really like how that looks. Uh, it looks a little bit more um, kind of uniform, especially with the dark tan kind of matches a little bit better with that. And um, yeah. But yeah, guys, that is going to just about wrap up this video. Um, I apologize for kind of the lack of progress on the actual mock. Um, this was pretty slow week. I was pretty busy with a bunch of papers and stuff in school. 
So, um, yeah, but I did get to finally build the AAT that is going to be going in the mock. And I really, really like it. I definitely believe that this is the best uh, AAT out there so far. Um, it looks really nice. All the angles are very clean and sleek. And it is, in fact, you know, minifigure scale, which is very important um, to me. So, yeah, so that's about it, guys. Um, I'll see you guys, I guess, in the next video. I hope to, you know, get a little bit more progress done on the mock by next week. Um, it should be a pretty chill week for this um, coming, um, you know, school week and stuff like that. So hopefully it should be able to grind some progress. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me through this building process. So I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.